What is up guys, we are back with some more Cyberpunk 2077 and we're here with Jackie and we're gonna sit down and talk with him and see what we got next in store for us. There's just something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, cause you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Aw, snap. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. Uh oh. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but T Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I say. Yeah, why me? Gotta go. You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. And all Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Okay. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. I'm Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in the league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Not really. No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half big shit by their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, a Dios. Muy bien. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our. Uh, hey, this is our key? Ass. Okay. It's just a card? Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. That's pretty nifty. Call your vehicle. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Heck yeah. Let's feel this factory new ride. Wherever my car pulled up at. Oh, okay. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Oh man, like I can't even change up the view for this. <laughs> I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. I don't think I can. Really gets me, you know. Oops, that was my turn. Oh, never mind. I can switch the camera. <laughs> there we go. Right on the D-pad. But I'm already here, so let's just get out. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me one fixed on dust in your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. The Ripper Dock. But they are not human. No. But then what? He's being all crazy. What up? Dr. Vector will see you now. Oh, wait. What's up with her? Okay, I thought her neck was nothing but, like, robotic. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen. Oh, there's a cat. I didn't even know that. <laughs> okay, you're kind of ugly. 
Excuse me, I did not pet you. Forget that. Wow, why do they do this? Why do they start the dialogue and then give you this? That war installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can be performed by a qualified specialist, Ripper Docks. There are several Ripper Docks operating through Night City, so that's how we're going to get our tech upgrades. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Yep. <laughs> Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Oh man, I don't... Okay, so you could get the money early. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. 21,000 though. I only have 4,600 on me. I did a, a side job to get a ping uh, Chair, mod to add on to my guy. Relax. All right, let's get this going. Kuroshi Optics, best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Is this an eyeball? Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. They give you superhuman-like abilities which can improve your combat com capabilities and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Still dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Hands available. I can upgrade my hands to what? Increase the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons directly links to use optical implant to weapon system offering real-time data tracking. Then we got the ocular system. Oh, I guess we can get both. Yeah, this enhances our vision. Okay. So yeah, we're supposed to pick up the hands and the eye, it looks like. And... What are these available items? Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, okay, yeah. If I had enough money, I could have installed this stuff for the stuff that shows like available uh, items. Wait, I can get this. Increase armor by 20. Oh, I like that. Let me, I'll install that. Give me some, some armor out here. That, that looks pretty nice. So then you can get upgrades to double jump. This is, this is interesting, I'll say. What is this? Increased carrying capacity by 20%. Uh, and then circulatory system. Increased breach time of breach protocol. When your health drops to 50%, release an electric shock that deals damage equal to 20% of the targets. Oh, that sounds useful. Damn, I'm like going through like all my money right now. All this stuff's pretty cool. But what's this? I need eight intelligence in order to increase cyberdeck RAM recovery rate. Defeat an enemy instantly recovers one cyberdeck RAM. Okay. Well we'll just we'll just leave it at this, guys. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the tops of built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember. Your body will still show up as crystal clear. Okay. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Do we get to like actually see him install this on us? Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. 
about to like cut my arm now, off or my hand. Anesthetic and I can start cutting. Yep. I guess this way it leaves like the the nerves intact. Play by play though. Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Uh oh. Lights out for a minute, all right? Ooh. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Okay, this is nice. Uh, they really did an amazing job right with this here. game. Uh, it's still blurry. Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience. Oh, my hand's still in the mess. works. Scanning people with your optical cyborg can provide you with a lot of useful information such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. You can see a list of quick hats which you can use against your end. Okay. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm. Yeah, of affiliation, really civilian, he's resistant to fire and poison. Your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Okay, so you can do some dead or alive <laughs> bounties to like make money. Job. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Oh, snap, yeah. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. I don't have your money. <laughs> say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, Get where you came from. Trying to see if there's like anything else to get in here while we're here. Guard up, you idiot. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Do I get some EXP for that? Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy. <laughs> your heart chakra, and avoid babe. Reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Pandemonium! I just want to test out this scan on them. Scan results, beat cop. Oh, what's up, Regina? Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, 
but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tap hits this. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. So we got non-lethal takedowns, quick haps, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and weapon mods. If given, if a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hand deals non-lethal damage, it would be mentioned in the description. Okay. We won't worry about that. Trying to get in. Thanks, bro. Dex, my guy. Looking like a Rick Ross out here. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. That arm is nice. Look at that. <laughs> Let's roll. That was smooth. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's roll. Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody? Die right old and smelling slightly of urine? Or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Absolutely. Chill. The no, folk no, who try to take advantage, well, I mean, they see the least in All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Hey. Surely that's no problem. That's who betrayed me. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting it wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who will be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot and shot. Okay. I like how they can just transfer information to you with the shard. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see? Convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. Rick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang made one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith doubt of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corpo agent, what's you playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. 
Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back is probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. She needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Later. Ah, oh, snap, leveled up. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally and not, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> on. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the whole <laughs> foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Let's start a way go. Alright guys, we are here at Lizzie's bar and it looks like we have to go between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and uh I'm guessing the time is good. Oh no. And a little put out there input. Interest you in a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. <laughs> get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. If someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, man. Thanks. Oh man, it feels like we were just here. Hey. Get you something. Uh Looking for Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? A big tipper. Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh snap. What's up? Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Uh. Yeah, let's drink that tequila. <laughs> Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? 
I like to know everything about the people I work with. Oh, okay. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Oh man, there's a dialogue option I can't hit. The I think I don't have my reflex up. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. Mm. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Oh snap. So what can a Nothing horny true. girl like me really? do for us? Why don't you tell me the truth? I Only just told you sprinkles. Or can you Why just sit? Maybe electricity. I didn't even notice that there. <laughs> that worked out. Alright, hook it up, girl. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. Thanks. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear, for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? Service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. 
study finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. What? Jacking off too in those boxes. Like, hard to say. This week, no. for sure, okay? It can be a very useful yeah, yeah, tool. Yeah, yeah. All right, good all right, for all right. analyzing mm -hmm. details, human mm -hmm. perception, right. even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. Mm -hmm. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Don't make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BD yet. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Okay. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop the inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no beady virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Oh, I thought that was the chair I had to sit in. <laughs> but alright guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But, with that said guys, stay sharp. Later.